into science with Science Museum Oklahoma. Now, everybody up at SMO is a huge basketball fan, of course, so we're going to be utilizing some of those fun little spheres today. So if you have a basketball on hand, go ahead and use it. Now, you're going to take that basketball and a couple of other differently sized balls as well. Get something like volleyballs, tennis balls, uh, ping pong balls, anything you can get a hold of. So once you have all of your pieces, here's how you're going to do the experiment. You're going to take everything that you have and you're going to drop them from a specific height. So in my case, I'm going to drop them from about eye level onto the table. You might drop them from shoulder height onto the floor or something like that. So eye level to the table, three, two, one. And you'll notice it only bounced up back to about my shoulder, so maybe half of the height. So let's do the same thing with the ping pong ball in three, two, one. All right. So same deal about halfway back up. Awesome. So now we have our control test. We know about how high these balls can bounce back up. So now let's stack them. Once you have your stacked, drop them so that the bottom ball is at the same height that you had it before. And three, two, one. One, it launched so much higher than it had before, and that's because of a transfer of energy. Here's what's happening. Whenever you drop these and they bounce back up, that's because they're elastic. They have elasticity to them. So that means that we're giving these elastic potential energy. Now, if you can record all of those stacked together as they're dropping, you would be able to see the bottom ball kind of flatten out and then spring back up to full size. If you can do that in slow-mo, it's a really, really cool image. What this means is that all of the energy from the ball hitting the table, squishing and then springing back up, that energy goes into the next ball or into the next ball after that or after that, depending on how many are in your stack. Eventually, all of the energy from all the ones on bottom reaches the ball on top and it launches at incredible heights, maybe even up to eight times its original bounce, which is absolutely amazing. So, Rumble, I have a couple of challenges for you. Try mixing up the order of the balls or doing it completely upside down. Try dropping it from a higher uh, point. Just see whatever you can get any sort of results that you can get from different kinds of drops. In fact, I want to see what the highest you can get a ball to launch is. Oh my gosh. Rumble, how did you do that? That was amazing. That was really cool. Well, all right, Rumble, I hope you have a lot of fun with this experiment and I'll call you back soon with some more. Bye.